So what is resilience not? Well, it's not this ideologic existence. You know, I've had a lot of people say, well, you're, you're a really positive person because nothing bad's really ever happened. Have you guys ever heard people say that? Or have you ever thought about that about someone? Have you ever saw someone who always seems to be up and positive and push through? And you think, well, they just, you know, they were born with a silver spoon in their mouth or everything's, you know, they, they walk around with sparkle and fairy dust and everything's positive in their life. So, of course, it's easy to be that way. But that's actually not resilience. People that are resilient, they're not unaffected by trials. They actually feel the pain and they feel the trials just as much as non-resilient people. They've done studies and surveys looking at this in groups and subgroups of physicians. They, it's not that they never experience professional failure or untouched by stress or hardships, and it's certainly not painless. So the components of resilience are really confidence, having self-confidence, and how do you instill that as a person and not come across as arrogant, but also how do you help instill confidence in the women around you? Adaptability, so the ability to adapt, meaning adapting to failure, and what is your purpose? Having a purpose. 